truth is, the game was rigged from the start. starting to realize more and more how taxing this is going to be on my system. Every single uh, episode of New Vegas is multiple gigs. Like it's going to it's going to hurt my computer to force that much data through her. I've got an external hard drive, but I've talked about how I filled up my PC completely like four times already. What? Why am I dead? Is this because I killed that Brahmin? Okay, there's Joe Cobb, so... Come on. Did Ringo just go crazy? Come on. There you go. Alright, he's weakening. I will say, he's not a great shot. Ringo is unfucking conscious. Um. Like, I'm still idolized in Good Springs, so I don't know what the hell's happened. It's just Ringo. On the other hand, no one's out here. This is eerie. This is just plain strange. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Alfred. Welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Um... So last episode, I killed a Bighorner, I think. Okay, Chet's in here. I can see him on my, on my perception. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, Chet's fine. Okay. Um, here's a like a couple hundred bucks NCR. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have that pistol, I sold you, would you? Give me that. Oh, man. Okay, so what is this? It's a 20 damage. This is 18 damage. Uh, I'll sell that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. I don't really need too much of that stuff, you know? Uh, go ahead and take that. I would love if you could just give me, like, some in-store credit or something. Okay, go ahead and give me that then. And yeah, I'll take some of these as well. Uh, okay, so, I see his issue, okay, boom, 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 packet of fags, pre-war cash, a tin can, hmm, carton of cigs. Yeah, I really don't know what happened with Ringo there. He just aggroed on me. Good thing I had these uh, hand wraps on me because uh, I would have I would have killed that idiot. I don't give a shit. I would have knocked him out. I mean, I did knock him out. I would have murdered him is what I'm getting at. I would have completely myrtleized him. Generations later, people would look at me and be like, was there ever a body here? Look at this thing. And they'd be like, no, impossible. Just 
You know, just one of those things. Um, yeah, I'll head up here and I'll pay 50 caps for him to help me out. Well, I'll just use a stim pack. I want to get back on the road quick. Okay, where's my weight at? It's, well, I'll be over encumbered if I, uh, hmm. Did I buy that? Didn't I buy boxing tape from him? Weird. Okay. I could stand to lose the 10 millimeter. I wouldn't count on it. Okay, Ringo, what is your deal? Are we going to have a problem, dude? Like, all his arms and legs are getting crippled. How embarrassing for him. You looking to buy some I'll sell that. Oh wait, you can't even afford that, huh? Well. Seriously, what is this guy's problem? Is it because I stole from him? I don't think I had the ability to do that yet. In fact, I don't even think I stole from him. Though now that I'm here, I may as well, right? Um, let's get a few pork and beans in me. I want to try to avoid overusing doctors. Also, uh, physically or otherwise, the gloves are coming off. Metaphorically, that's what it is. Fuck. I was playing around with it too much. Oh, give me all. Right. And then I do want to buy some stim packs. So I will go to Dr. Mitchell's house. <clears throat> see, I see no NPCs that should be out and about. Like, I didn't see Trudy, I didn't see. What? That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Oh, here's. Feeling thirsty? Why are they out here? Hmm. Hi there. Not in good most if you want to take it. I'm not taking Oh yeah, I have been meaning to go here as well. Now, nah, okay. Where is that shul house? Here it is. Oh, boy. Okay. It's a sin to tell a lie. Okay. I'll just eat more pork and beans, I guess.
There we go. Uh, pork and beans, and let's drink some water. Perfect. And then we just gotta head on over to Dr. Mitchell's house and... Bish bash bosh, I'll have some stim packs and be on the road again. Just can't wait to be on the road again. To quote Donkey. You know, I would say that the... I would argue that the Shrek movies could be considered cultural anomalies. Like, I don't get why they're so good. I don't get why they're so well-loved. I just sort of don't understand it. And, like, it's not that they shouldn't be or that they're bad or something. But, like, man, right? Just think about Shrek for a second. There was that period of time where Mike Miles basically ruled the comedy world. Doc, talk to me, man. How are you? How you holding up? Let me talk to you in my doctorly voice. Okay. It's a sin to tell a lie. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk it. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. And away we go to Prim. Uh, prospect is done. Build mass with sass. I love that ad. What's up here? It's giving me radiation. Maybe I should take a look-see. Hmm, I wonder what it is that's giving me... Oh, hmm. Yeah, well, that'll do it. Is that a centaur down there? Oh, my ammunition. Right, shit. It looks too small to be a centaur. Nope. It was just very far away. Let's party. Oh, it got stuck in the floor. Well, that's good, I guess. Oh, I see you brought your friends too, huh? Well, ain't that just fun for the whole family? Let's light up and start tossing. Yeah, I've been taking radiation in all game and I haven't done anything about it. Okay. That should probably be enough to handle it. Oh, these things are fucked up. I'm not even scratching them. I thought it was going to be a waste to use the grenade uh, rifle on them, but... Then again, their damage resistance is so high. Like, look, I'm just beating on them with this machete. Centaur blood. Hey, cool. Okay, just let me get out of here. I'll be right with you, level up. There we go. Um, 
You got 16 points to be working with. Um, I could do four, four, and four for... Well, no, I want to get this up. Uh, hold on. Yep, there you go. That'll do. Much better. I've got to round my character out a little more. I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to dope up. Oh, man. But that's what's weighing me down. I've got a 30 pounds of soda on me. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, my God. I'm out of everything. Oh, that's what I'm looking at. Yeah, this is why I bought that machete in real life as well. Ah, boy. Okay. There's a rattler around here somewhere. Oh, dear. Weapon condition is low. Believe me, don't I know it. Ant meat? An ant meat, great. Um let's drink some more of this. Bring on the next one. I don't even know if I picked up Radex actually. Yeah, it should be right here. I picked up Rad I picked up Rad X, but not right away. That ain't good. The irradiated wasteland ain't got nothing on my diamond back. I love this gun. Yeah, decapitate him with a bullet. I love that shit. Ooh, Ant Nectar, I love that. Ant Nectar is very good. Ant Nectar is a thing that you can uh, get addicted to, but not me, because you know. I've got one of the best deals in the wasteland. Drink an ice cold Nuka Cola to wash down the ants. This is. That's just ominous and scary. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's not right there. Am I gonna have to start selling food? I stocked up because I thought I would need a lot of it. This looks like a job for my old friend, Dino and Might. Come on. Yeah, get him. I guess I could just start leaving the ant meat. It's not really worth it to me. Oh yeah, we're going to need a little more of that. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, there's only one left. Nice. All right. Yeah, typically I would just loot all the meat, but like, seeing as I don't need it, I guess there's not really a reason to. All right, I feel I've gotten off track again. Yeah, there's Prim. So now I'm so far off course that I need to head north. When I was heading to Prim, I was going south. Guess that just, you know, just goes to show you. Sometimes you just wander into an anthill. What are they doing? Oh, they're fighting. Why? I thought they were engaging in, um, what's that one thing that ants do? Uh, Trophylaxis. I got, don't need the ant meat. Gotta stop taking it. Uh, let's head back here and quick trial because may as well, right? All right. So yeah, for a lot of my Morrowind playthrough, I treated it as though it was a completely new game that no one had ever seen. But I, I noticed that I'm not doing it for this game, and I feel it's because like I know way less about this game, and I feel like other people know way more. I'm not an expert in New Vegas, and I'm willing to say that very openly. I am a big fan of Fallout. Um, maybe not more than the Elder Scrolls, but I do enjoy both. Thing is, with Fallout, I um, I spent like m quite a long time playing it. Like I played a whole bunch of uh, Fallout Three on my Xbox. Played a whole bunch of Fallout One on my PC. But with uh, Elder Scrolls, I just played um, Skyrim and Morrowind. Like, I got in because Skyrim was hot shit. I went back to Morrowind. There I was. You know? Uh, so yeah, discovering Prim was uh, not hard. It was literally just here, but I got so sidetracked. And yep, there's the, uh, as promised, there's that water spout. Not what that is. It's the fucking... Oh my god, what is the name? Roller Scooter. Roller Coaster, god damn it. Wait, who are you? Escape Convict, okay. I thought it was Ringo again. Well, let's try my new best friend then, shall we? Look out. Wait, is that a new gun for me? Uh, dude, you shouldn't have. He certainly got a new melee weapon for me. I'm gonna need to actually hold on to that tire iron, based on the, based on this thing. Okay, it's got a uh, hundred and forty bucks in CR. Dynamite, that's good, and a varmint rifle. Now that is just what the doctor ordered, and he got ammo as well. Oh, man, I cannot... What? Who is in combat with me? Oh, cool, that's useful. From who? Whose house am I in? I'm in no one's house. I know it says Nash Residence. It's currently not even... There's no one even in here. Duh. Okay, so my DT's at 10 if I do that. This thing's really got the... Just, this this thing has been through hell and back. Shout out to that thing. Try to fix it. Oh, I'll come back for you at some... Wait, hold on. 
What if there's stuff in here? Okay, there's not enough stuff, but there is stuff. If I pick that up, don't I just lose karma over and over and over? Found you. Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, we going are we going tire iron to tire iron? Let's tango. Come on. Truly a worthy opponent. I hit it out of his hand. That's not good. At the very least, I got more of these. Man, I've got to boost my stuff. Yeah, just drop it. Off to the Vicky and Vance. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Uh, who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with a Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, we can tell me about this. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was so strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. So, uh, remember that we are the original Courier 6, and that's the name of that. Or we're the new Courier 6, but the original's in the Divide. Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the Courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do you know who he was or where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Well, some men stole that package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Well, one of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to him. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Now okay, well, that's fine. Quite a town we got here. Actually, wait. Hey, young. Um, what do you have for sale? Perfect. Uh, just take the weight out of my inventory. I'll save this for some emergency. Why not? Hmm. 
Hmm. Caravan shotgun. Okay. Scrap metal, I'll need that coming up. Okay. And then I'll need to ante up something for you, huh? Actually, you know what? Keep it. Thanks. Yeah. Sure. Get My it. gift. I'll be uh back with some I'll put it this way. I'm going to have enough to pay you back. Oh, man. Come on. Almost there. Rather be left alone to my misery. Quite a town we got here. Johnny Nash, talk to me. Uh... Take this heavy shit off of my ass. Uh, actually, you take these. And then, yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Hell yeah. Sheriff, All right, and then I'll fix up my shit. The, the sturdy. Wow, it's not even hurt. I'll hold on to it. This cowboy repeater has seen better days, though. Murdered and Deputy Beagle dragged off. So we're heading into the Bison Steve Hotel. And you'd better believe. Why do you assume that I've had enough? Maybe I want more. Wow, I got a piece of skull in my face. That was pretty extreme. Oh, geez. This could be trouble. Um, water. Stimpak. Sugar bombs. Nice. There it is. Look at that. Okay. I'll stock these up all by the door. <clears throat> I'll stock these by the door. Actually, no. I'll put them in the trash can. And then, let's see if there's anything worthwhile in here. Because, yeah, I remember getting really over encumbered in here. Just because there was so much loot. And when, when I get encumbered, I, uh, I, well, I mean, I guess you would have seen. 75, not a chance. Not a chance for a quick uh, grab, at least. Grab that. They've got a halfway decent uh, weight to caps ratio. Motherfucker, I haven't even talked to you yet. Ball cap with glasses. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just patch that up there. And this. Oh, but don't forget. Still encumbered. Okay. Oh, I'll need that tire iron, actually. Hmm. 
Why do I have... Why do I have a single ashtray? Much better. I'd like to be able to uh, have... Well, the thing is, I want my variety of weapons, but I also don't want to give up uh, that weight, you know? Also, I like how I said uh, that that trade would be my gift. As though that makes sense. Wow. Two cartons of six. That's extensive. Had enough. Seriously, guys. Wow. That was pretty gruesome. Yeah, keep pushing this one. That is something I like the sound of. I really got to get jury rigging. Wow. Okay, let's uh, have a sip of uh, beer. Oh, cool. What was that? Nothing. You like that? Why would I like it, guys? Come on. Think with your heads for a second instead of your sh guns. Yeah, I'm going to say guns. Um, wow, they're really uh, giving me the gusto, huh? Strength minus three, eh? Mm, I didn't cook any of this, did I? Oh, yeah, I've got all these. That'll help. Oh, huh. Okay. Loud and clear. Uh, guys, one moment, please. Yeah, I kind of, kind of, I, yeah, I, I saw that coming. I'll be honest. Oh boy. I got to get some frag mines. I love frag mines. Come on. Got the sigs. Yeah, frag mines would really help with um cleaning up the rabble. So the escape convicts are the tough ones, huh? Yeah, you're damned right. Look, I'm just a regular guy with a tire iron. What if you were to fight, like... Oh, wow, it's maxed out. That's great. But no, yeah, I'm just, like, a dude with a tire iron. If you were to try to, like, fuck with someone who actually had, like, clout, dude, it'd be over for you. Uh, one moment, everyone. I'm going to head downstairs and drop off my crap. Hey, and we're back. Um, yeah, I just dropped all my shit in the uh, trash can in the uh, lobby. And I left all these guys up here. Do you?
Look, he had butted his own gun. He was embarrassed. Ice cold Nuka Cola. Cameras are decent in uh, terms of cash. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm not going to get any more radiated, am I? Later that day, Alfred died of radiation poisoning. Or uh, Arizona Tex, I guess. Oops. Do, 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 do. Those aren't really worth it. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know that you could do that. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, uh, Pretty stupid, if I do say. What about this? Can I hustle on this way? Hup. Remember, if you hop, it gets easier. <clears throat> I don't even know where I was being shot from. Ooh, nice. Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Sell it later. Is that a fully repaired tire iron? Ooh. That guy got it pretty hard. If you want to see your wife alive, bring the cash and unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Um, let's see here. Yeah, sure. I'll just do some monch, get a little grub, get down tonight. <laughs> There should be some loot in here, right? Whole bunch of chems. Man, that guy had a fun death, I assume. Suitcase full of jet. So something that a lot of people get confused about jet. Uh, jet was invented after the, like, way, way after the war. Because it requires Brahmin fart, you know? Like we talked about last episode. It's uh, it's made out of Brahmin poop. And a Brahmin's a mutated cow, and those only showed up widespread, you know, after all the shenanigans. It's my face, excuse me. Had a little scratch on my nose. Oh, man. I'm super hungry, y'all. I'm going to make uh, fish and chips tonight. And I also just, like, don't take very good care of myself, so I'm always hungry. And, like, dude, I am. I am juicing for some fish and chips. I love how, uh... Oh, hey, guys. I love how the nature of that food is... Oh, wow. Um, this is awkward. Uh, hmm. Well. Hmm. Ooh, that'll do. Come on. Captain Falcon over there. For those who don't know, I'm currently, uh... Well, not in technically employed, but uh, my wife pays me to be her house husband. 
A job I enjoy greatly. Haha, fucker. Okay. Yeah, I really gotta get jury rigging because there's no reason that this can't be fixed by this. Just game logic. Ooh, that needs a patch. Wait, what is it? 55. Ah, well. Let's dope up with some ant nectar. Um, hmm. Yeah. See, I'm trying to avoid things that'll reduce my strength because it'll completely invalidate. Oh, yeah, that'll work. I'll take some med X just in case we have a little more. But I think everyone should be dead in there. Of course, I've been wrong before. Oh, yeah, and I gotta save that book for later. Who wants to party? Slice me off a chunk of that, huh? Okay, what combat, though? Talk to me. Where are they at? I love how that pot doesn't even have value. Pot. Worthless. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. I hear you may have some information on some cons that came who through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, that's so gracious. He's such a coward. He's such a dirty coward. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Okay. Well, let's, um... Damn. Oh, wait, yeah. Hmm. Not as illuminating as I would have hoped. Well, here, we'll just beat on the walls, yeah? While I navigate my way out of here. I love that it leaves giant craters whenever there's a crit. I assume that's why it does. Or maybe it's just distance. Oh, hey, fellas. Why do people keep putting perfectly good cigarettes down here? Oh, what the hell? I'll just drop it. Um, oh yeah, that'll be what's weighing me down, ain't it? Uh, let me grab that tire iron again, if I can. Uh, I'll kick it to the door like a like a soccer ball oh there where were you dude I've been looking everywhere for you yep and then we'll just walk over here pop this nice Give me another tire iron. Damn, he did. Okay, well, now we just gotta make our way out. Which shouldn't be too, too hard. I figured I'd have to do some of this encumbered. I didn't think it'd be this early, but at the very least, I uh, repaired the elevator. I think I did that off screen. There you are, Mr. Incinerator. 
Uh, yeah, now I just gotta find the elevator or whatever. Or not. I guess I'll just go to the stairs? Is there... Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just a little walking. Never hurt no one. Just a little, at least. All right. Bison Steve. What? Are you for real, dude? Yeah, I'm just going to back you up into a corner and beat the hell out of you. How do you feel now? You brave? You proud of yourself? Stupid? I don't know if you all know this, but it's a sin to tell a lie. It's a sin to tell a lie. A vacuum cleaner, nice. Oh, yeah. Empty? The hell is that crap? Great, more rad X. Didn't need any of that or anything. 300 pounds, not bad, not bad. This takes me back to the ground floor, right? Nope, it doesn't. This is the ground floor? This is gonna be a blocked off room, yep. Oh wait, is this the end? Is it? No, it's not. Where the holy hell am I going? Okay, maybe I just have to cross this whole room without going into the elevator. Because logically, the lobby would be through there. Brahmin steak wore off. Didn't do too much good anyway. Too, too much. This is the top floor, I think. It's a sin to tell a lie. Wait, here's the gift shop, so that means that that must be the door, right? <laughs> 600, or uh, uh, 60 pounds overweight. But this is, ah, damn it. Wait, so is this the first floor? Is this the exit? Is this my limit? It's not. Fuck, why am, I, why am I so stupid? Okay, think. I can do this. I'm on the bottom floor. How do I get lost in here? Honestly, this is just embarrassing. Okay, so I'm on the bottom floor right now. Which means that if I go up a floor, I should be on the, by the ground level floor. The floor floor. That's the floor that leads to the floor. And if I head through here, I should be out. Okay, so there's the elevator. So wait, it should be through here, right? God, my sweat smells like coffee. I've started to drink more coffee. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. How did I get lost in this? It's got three floors. Okay. So this is... What? What is this? This is, this is new. This is something completely different. I don't even know where I am. Wait, there's another. 
Yeah, good. This is how I play uh, Bethesda games, FYI. I get myself encumbered. I slow walk to the exit. I get lost and I freak out. Yeah, this sort of thing does happen to me far too much. Okay, maybe he's just stuck in here. No, wait. That doesn't make any sense. Pencils are nearly worthless, but because they have uh, no weight, that means that they're infinitely valuable. Because normally something's value in a Fallout game is uh, based on its caps to caps to weight ratio. But as it doesn't have a weight, that means that it has an infinite value. Okay, what? No, these lead down. Wait, did I end up on the top floor? Like, I put all my crap in that thing so I wouldn't be encumbered for the entire dungeon. If anyone in, who is in game development is watching, this is who's playing your game. This is, this is your enemy. Th th this is the person that you should test your game around. Someone who's this stupid, you know? Someone who gets lost in nothing. Someone who will encumber... I found my way out. Oh, yeah. So I just didn't go far enough into this room seven or eight times. Oh, my God. I'm officially sorry to everyone for this and me and this. There you go. Making it back. And now I can Uh there's not much in here. Oh wait, 50? What do I have? I've got lock pick of 25. Blood pack, nice. Mentats. It's a sin to tell a lie. Those egg timers that I dropped, yep. What am I carrying now? Ooh, almost double my weight. Get it, Yuri Lowenthal. Get it. See, in Skyrim, something you can do is that if you power attack, you'll, like, swing yourself forward. And I'm hoping that I can do that and push myself forward with the, the thing. I think my best bet is to, like, kind of angle my character and go in diagonally. And you may be able to hear me spamming the E key in the hopes of... Uh, talk to me, f well, fucking asshole. Ah, yes. I was I don't really care about this guy. I hate him. If I can kill him, I will. Actually, maybe I can. Dare to dream, you know. All right. Next, we're heading to the town of Nipton. Which was another thing that I was worried about. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Hello, other voice actor. I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I... My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. 
The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Uh, I'd like some of that, please. Does Guess you so yeah, you need some. So that's why you save it. It's because it makes a... Hey, youngster. His eyes are fucking glowing. Okay. I gotta sell all the heavy shit to him. Okay. So far, so good. What? Oh, that's mine, sir. Excuse me. Yeah, for whatever reason, it doesn't show the plus in your inventory. Uh, burn those. Burn that. Uh, not much better than what I have. This isn't good. It's a sin to tell a lie. See, that's one of the things about this game. It just gets stuck in your head and will never ever leave until you do a whole Let's Play of it that'll probably take you a year, if not longer. I can't craft the things that I need yet, so I'll go ahead and burn that. Those are weightless, which means that I... Oops. Hold on just a moment there, sir. Let me get those back from you. Didn't realize you couldn't pay. Yeah. Those have weight, so they're less valuable. Um, 357. I actually need one of those. And I'm selling him all my varmints, so I don't need that. Oh, yeah, give me some of that. Stim packs are weightless, meaning that they're pretty solid. Even though they're very expensive. Wow, that's a lot of money, NCR. Um, I think that's a good trade so far. Let's see if there's anything else I can push over into his inventory. Oh, yeah. 51 caps with the pre-war money. And I want to hold on to this because I think I can do something with that robot. Uh. Give me some whiskey. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Another satisfied customer. Later. Now that is a smoking deal. Howdy. Howdy. Like, everyone has their guns in their hands, even. Still got radiation poisoning, but, you know, that's survival mode for you. Howdy, partner. Uh, two sensor modules and scrap electron. That's not worth it yet. Okay, well. Later, we'll do... Yeah, later we'll do this, this one, but right now we're doing this. Heading southeast on the way to Nipton. And this time I'm not wearing NCR clothes. By this point I usually am. But as you may be able to tell, that's a... Uh... Well, as for people who know, they know. One of the game's signature scenes is coming up for people who don't know. Actually... You know what? I've done a I've done a good thing. This is a great place to stop. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been New Vegas. 
I've been playing Arizona Techs. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming by. Uh, see you later. You fought valiantly, but to no avail. Your twisted and ruined body goes down in a hail of bullets and thus ends your life in the wasteland.